Well, let's get more on that legal path with our next guest, Kamisa Kamara, who is the Sub-Saharan African Director at Partners Global in Washington, D.C. Uh, Kamisa, the military have been very careful to ensure this is a smooth process with the air of legit legitimacy about it. But Rob Mugabe has been um, basically making it very difficult for them. Do you think he'll uh, take part in any discussions which might see him removed from power? Well, I think that Robert Mugabe has no choice but to relinquish power at some point. Um, he has not resigned uh, yet, but this is something that will happen in the in the coming days. Now, the big question is who is going, going to succeed to Robert Mugabe? It looks like the ruling party, ZANU-PF, wants to keep um, control of the situation and want to put in place their successor. And I think there are words of question, caution to have because the military is basically calling the shots these days. They are the ones who uh, have made sure that Munangagwa is the one who takes over, which means that he might be the next president of Zimbabwe. Well, let's stay with the military for a moment. I want to get some uh, of your thoughts on some reports suggesting a trip to Beijing by Zimbabwe's military chief, really the architect of this takeover, which happened just a few days before the military takeover, maybe more than just a coincidence of timing. I think there might be a coincidence of timing. Uh, there might also have been uh, a, a need for them to... I go and let the Chinese know that uh, a coup is in the making and that Mugabe uh, will be gone in the next few days. China is the um, largest foreign investor in Zimbabwe. Uh, it is important to remember that China is only interested in the tobacco and diamond uh, in Zimbabwe. They might be also interested in stability, but China does not have a history of mingling in internal African affairs. So it is safe to say that uh, China's interests are mainly economic. Um, they are trying to make sure that uh, Zimbabwe remains stable. And it looks like uh, with the ZANU-PF taking over, there will not be a big change um, in, in power. And you seem quite adamant that he will go. What happens then when Mr. Mugabe does leave? Do you think um, there's this buoyant attitude on the streets is well founded? Will there be actual change for people in Zimbabwe? I think the big event here is that a 37-year uh, uh, ruler is leaving. Uh, he's being fired by his party, basically. So that is what the joy is about. Now, again, we have to be very cautious because uh, the next 48 hours are going to be crucial and critical for Zimbabwe. Um, it looks like uh, it is still the ZANU-PF, the ruling party, who will continue to rule. And uh, Munangagwa is not so much different from Zim from uh, Robert Mugabe. He is, uh, uh, I mean, he has committed human rights abuses. Uh, he's the same uh, type uh, of man that uh, Robert Mugabe is, except that he's younger.